What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Mass Effect 1. Let's start edition with another new favorite space map. Now, before we go on here, I did check uh, my inventory real quick. And guess what I found? I am so excited. So, I've been looking for this. I love running around with the Geth stuff on occasion. So, I'm super happy, super excited that I was able to find that. But, um, that's it. We're gonna get into a little chaos with it. So. What could possibly go wrong here? excited I am to find this. <laughs> oh, I know some people don't like it, but I just love running around with plus rifle. I'm plus rifle here. It's silly and stupid, I know, but I'm on. Survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Girl, I just gotta tell you. He's in the space bam. What are you gonna do against the space bam? Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. Nah. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped, not by the Protheans, not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics, they devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death, there are no other options. You could have resisted, you could have fought. Instead, you surrendered, you quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's 
still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. the Paragon if uh, that changes at all because uh, if you do the for that the full I'll show you guys uh, so where I said you need to have fire episodes like your intimidate and your charm so we have our full renegade going on full intimidate and that little thing very end here that all makes a difference but uh also, you see on the left hand side, you get your paragraph points, your regular points. I'm pretty sure one of my playthroughs, if you don't get it to like above that 75%, it gets a little iffy. So just get as much points as you can, and then uh, you can get the final dialogue with him. If you don't, though, it. Oh, oh. But, uh. Yeah, it, it gets interesting. But, uh, that's it. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers done 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That's right. So... As you may or may not know, uh, most of you at this point probably know, so this is based off Stella, a good buddy of mine, again. I'm playing as her, she's playing as me on her playthrough, so she's doing more of the Renegade- Renegade, wow. She's doing more of the Renegade <laughs> with some Paragon here and there, so she's like, make sure I'm not a jerk, a tool, or whatever. I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's certain things like we were message and text back and forth. Uh, so, the decision time. Save the council. Oh, the council die. I'll be right back and send her a text and see uh, what the call is here. Alrighty, so here's the verdict. We're gonna save the council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements! It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess! Make sure he's dead. Alright, so logic, we save the council. Stella's like, okay, look. Big brain. Last thing I do is lead, lose your leaders. 
Let's just not mess with that. You know, Rex, we gotta do a zombie check. Double tap. He's dead. Much as I wanna, you know, use a oh, sorry full yeah, nah on uh not nah, on this one. I know better. This is so annoying because he moves around. This is why I don't do this implants. All the stuff, Saren! Now it's gonna do this thing where he flies around, all annoying and everything. Ugh. So, so, oh, his buddies are coming in. <laughs> Thank you, friendos. Great to see you. Come on. Alright. I did not want a sniper. Oh, god.
going, dude. I'm telling you. down no matter what the cost. me every time it happens. It's like, mind your business, and then it's like, oh, no, why we go whatever this thing is. If you can't look around, and just, you're just stuck. You can go to shoot places, but you can't move. It's so janky. Well, it resets. Chest knife again.
that area. Don't do don't be greedy. safe now. Where's the commander?
Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Oh, I... No, no, okay. You know, all right. Okay, like, I know... There's no way I'd vote on Dina. Just, no. No. Just, no. Anderson. Wait, let me just double check on something real quick. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, no, no, no. Anderson, all the way. Nope, still, like, confirm, approved. Anderson. Like, hell no. Odina. It goes, no. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the Captain on the Council than any politician I know. The shadow of war darkens our future. Selecting someone with military experience is a wise choice. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them. Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of a war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up. This has been Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition on Insanity. We got the Platinum. We are good to go. Hope you all have enjoyed this series thus far. I've had an absolute blast. Stella's had a blast. We've all had a blast. I cannot wait to go launch into Mass Effect 2. We're gonna try to Platinum them as well. Follow through on 3. That said, also I need to do Jack and Dexter 2. <laughs> Sorry, Jack 2. But, as always, Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey thus far. Hope you all have a nice day. This is Commander Saul, signing off.